Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Houseplant Pixie. For everyone that's new to my channel, my name is Monique and welcome back to my existing subscribers. In today's episode, I would like to show you how I trade my Ficus Umbellata for Mealybugs. Unfortunately, we have Mealybugs again. Never ending story. Anyway, just if you could watch this video all the way to the end, comment, like and share, I'd really appreciate it. So, Ficus Umbellata. I show you. This is it. I already traded it. And there is a nasty, nasty, see the traces of the mealybug still left there on the sleeve. And I put it back in the middle of the room, <laughs> away from all my other plants. I absolutely adore this plant. I think if it wouldn't have the background, I would already tossed it. So here's the thing with mealybugs, you have to decide, is it worth the battle? This tray, yeah, it's totally worth the battle. Just a quick um, story about this tray. So I'm from Germany, as most of you probably already know. And my parents came to visit just before COVID hit and we did a little road trip to Esperance on the way back. We stopped at some, some thing, like my mom goes like, oh, can we stop? I want to take a picture of this tray. And I stopped and then here we go, there was a nursery. <laughs> and my mom is plant addict as well. So we went to the nursery and I found this Ficus Umbellata and my dad actually bought it for me. And ever since it's like, yeah, <laughs> I don't know, my dad got it for me and that's why I love it so much. I think seven or eight months later, it had scale. So I treated it for scale and I blended in a picture what it looked like after. I think it had like a combination. It had the scale and I treated it and then... And it had mealybugs, it just had always something and I, yeah, I almost given up on it. So I re, I repotted it when it had, and it looked like this. <laughs> it had no leaves, it was just a stick and I thought, oh, here we go. I failed. Anyway, it come back to what it looks now, but it has mealybugs again. Just quickly, what are mealybugs? Mealybugs are an insect that love the sort of warm, humid environment. There's different methods how you can treat it. To be honest, as I said before, pick your battle, but I had succulents in this window and it was covered in mealybugs. I looked at it straight in the bin. <laughs> It wasn't worth the battle. And then also check your surrounding plants. So this Ficus Umbellata is sitting in my study. In the south-facing window, I got all my ficuses there because it's really bright, indirect light. And um, I think I was talking to someone on Instagram that where do these mealybugs actually come from? And what I've noticed I get them most of the time in my study and in my study the window is so I painted it from the other side <laughs> and I haven't had I I know I just got to get around to do it but you know what it is um, yeah I don't gonna do it later and the window is stuck so I never open the window there but that's what I noticed so in my lounge room and so when the weather is nice I open up all the windows just be careful when you do that that you don't have plants that are sensitive to drafts as well keep that in mind and just exchange the air so i do that on an everyday basis but in my study the window is stuck so i wonder if that so I'm, i bought a fan and i'm actually gonna put a fan on the timer in that room but also i got my orchards in that room and they have mealybugs every now and then as well. So they, I think, warm, bit of moisture, because I got heaps of plants clustered together, 
perfect environment, stagnant air. I think where you have stagnant air, you get trouble with them sort of pests. So what I'm, I have pest oil. I'm going to trade that one with pest oil because of the history, because it had mealybugs before. And I just want to hit it hard. If it was any other plant, I had my Hoya Polinera when I bought that. I got a video um, on my channel as well. I treated that differently. Um, I mixed a little bit of de uh, detergent in a spray bottle. You can use detergent and alcohol. You can use detergent and neem oil. You can, I'm pretty like, 100% if you mix just detergent and water, but be mindful that your water is lukewarm. Don't use cold water. So what the dish washing liquid does, or the dish soap, mealybugs have like, it's a little insect. I'll blend in a picture. It looks like little gladiators. <laughs> the dishwashing or detergent will actually break down its membrane. So I've noticed it because the plant looked after watering, it still looked droopy and it just lo didn't look right. Um, see, it had a few spots here and it was like literally, I already treated it. It had, let me show you here. See, like on the stem, here that almost every leaf looked like this so I'm gonna spray it again I'm not gonna spray it with detergent because yeah trying to keep it away from other plants also if you do spray your plant outside and you apply neem oil or any other pesticide be careful that you don't put it out in the sun because I've learned that the hard way. I sprayed my Frenchy pennies one summer uh, with neem oil because they had mealybugs as well and burned, like, burned them, absolutely burned them. The Frenchy pennies are fine. The leaves just grow back. But I think with the houseplants, either way, you shouldn't have them in the sun. It's like us. If you're not used to the sun, be mindful. Just I'm only saying it because I get the afternoon sun and I'll be spraying this guy in my backyard and I forgot it on the <laughs> on the table but I caught it in time so it did not get burned but be aware yeah this could happen also you could um, put it in your bathroom put it in the shower or put it in the um, bathtub if you have and spray it. If you have one of those beautiful bathrooms and have the massive windows, even better. I would just sit my ficus in my bathtub until all the mini bugs are gone and probably give it a spray, a hose until the problem. Mini bugs, you don't battle in just one go. You deal with it maybe a couple, three, max, or. <laughs> I would like to say maybe a couple of months at max that you have to spray it every week for like four or five times. But this guy, when it lost all its leaf, the scale came and, but yeah, let's not talk about this. Yeah, it, it could go all wrong and, but even then it could come back. So, right, let's spray it. All right. Um, <laughs> this is the spray I'm going to be using. I make sure see that going under the leaves. Yeah, some there, some there. <clears throat> so I'm just going to cover the whole plant.
it's always bright just keep in mind that you cover your whole plant like literally even if you think okay i'll cover the whole plant go over it one more time it's worth it it's abs if one of those little bastards <laughs> survive you won't get rid of the problem so check your under leaf side top of the leaf where the leaf is connected to the stem and then the leaf stem connected to the actual stem of the plant i even like to cover the soil wipe your pot on the outside especially if you have white pots you don't know if there's any of them hanging on the pot i don't think so because they are literally feeding off the plant so but just in case covered all all right guys i hope you liked this video let me know your experience with mealy bugs and if you actually got rid of the problem or did you look at your plant and you thought nah you go straight into the bin <laughs> all right guys i see you next time until then stay plenty bye